okay so previously we created flex wall and uh, now we'll see how to utilize q tree the principle of uh, q tree is more you know beneficial in flex group flex group is basically you you consolidate a lot of volumes and uh, it it, it 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 will be a one single big volume made out of the many different aggregates so they it, the q tree has been utilized a lot but in this example we are going to use the q tree on test 01 which we created previously on x xyz or uh, v server and uh, we are we have created this particular v uh, flex wall of 1.5 gig and uh, I'm just going to create Q tree on this one so whenever we have to make Q tree we have to set a quota for that Q tree so let's take an example I, for my this particular wall test 01 I'm going to create a uh, Q tree Q tree quota and I can set the upper limit to be 200 MB so the hard limit and soft limit the principle is like user will not able to write anything more than 200 MB in that particular Q tree which has been delegated to that user whereas um, soft limit is it will user will keep on continuing but he he will get a alert so it's up to you whether you want to configure a soft quota or not so the way we can set the quota on the space we can set the quota on number of files so if someone want how many hundreds they want to make they can make so if someone want to set the limit as per the number of files in that particular q tree so I create this particular rule, the, the quota for Q tree on test 01. Now I'll create one Q tree for my test 01. It will be T1, and I'm going to use test. Zero 01 volume I'm going to inherit the security style from the uh, vol volume so I will testing it with the uh, NFS and uh, now I'll use this I will use the already created export policy what we created and this export will be used by this particular segment of IPs so you can create as per your wish the export policy so i'm going to export to the same uh, set same server so i'm utilizing the same one which we created in previous uh, demo and uh, yeah so that's all now i have created the q tree t1 under test zero one how do it look like if you will navigate to that particular test zero one how it looks like it will look like this it has a one more pre and let me enable the file analyzer okay so it will look like that uh, under that tree there's a one t1 folder which has been created and we have set the quota that uh, in the quota we specified that the user could not able to write more than 200 MB so and soft limit is 150 KB I have mentioned so let me edit it it should be MB I'm just keeping it so where the person will get the alert Mm -hmm. now I'll go on my client 
I'll look for instead of uh, using IP I will use the this time I will use the DNS which I created in the networking sec section this is the onbox DNS which we created netapp dot com and here yeah, I can see so I'll mount it I'll create one directory mkdir slash test t1 now we'll mount this one Now I have mounted this V uh, this particular Q tree. If you will see, it shows like it is 200 MB, not 1.5, even though it is created under the same uh, same uh, volume now i will try to write data inside this block size is 1 mb i'm going to keep the count to 100 okay I have created this file 100, 100 M this is of 100 MB and I did not receive any any error because still it is under my soft quota and the hard quota now I will try to create uh, 50 gig more or better 60 which will ex uh, exceed the soft limit like 100 plus another 60 it will be 160 so i'm going to add another 60 gb see it did not restrict the user to write the data it, it will uh, uh, generate the event on the box like yeah you have exceeded the soft quota this particular user has exceeded the soft quota we can check out the report as, as well in the report you will see that the soft quota has been exceeded there's an alert and there's an extra 10 mb in size and if someone same user keeps on trying and write another 60 gb which will be 100 plus 60 plus 60 it will be 220 um which exceed the upper threshold limit then he will face an error see uh, now he got the errors mentioning like i doesn't this but doesn't have that much space so this is how you, you, you one person can create a lot bigger volume and uh, carve out a lot of small q trees to, and give it to the user so this is a concept of q tree in uh, netapp thank you